Amigos and amigas, for first time in Australian history, for Australian eggs exclusively, the two best cooks in the country, me, myself and I, Miguel Maestre, and the one and only... Gloria! So what are we cooking today, Gloria? We're cooking Bass Ranch cheesecake. And is that one of your favorite recipes? Um, yes. You like to eat it, no? <laughs> yes. And what is the most amazing thing about the cheesecake? Um, cheese. What is the best step to make a cheesecake? Mm, well, we need to mix up all the ingredients. So if it's a cheesecake, we put some cheese, right? So what is that in there? It's um, cream cheese. <laughs> it's cream cheese, right? Use the spatula. Okay, so what I'm gonna do pretty much, we're gonna get some, lots of cream cheese. The cream cheese is gonna be pretty much a room temperature, and that's important. Okay, good job, Claudia. When it's room temperature, it's gonna mix really easily with the other ingredients, okay? So we got the eggs, room temperature, the cream is room temperature, and the cheese is room temperature. What do you do? Push it a little bit, Claudia, push it in. So now, we got a um, food processor, or a food processor, if I say in Spain, the food processor. And what we're gonna do is start mixing and breaking down the cheese. So what is the main ingredient in the Basque cheese? Cheese. Cake? Cheese, and we got the cheese in here already, right? So what do we do now? We mix it up. Okay, boom. So while we mix it, we're gonna make it really nice and soft. And what we're doing now, when you do add a little bit of the cream, slowly, one bit at a time. Very nice. Slowly, slowly, I'm gonna put this down. And everything starts to like come really creamy and beautiful. And now what do we do? Um, How many eggs? Four. Four eggs. Give me a good crack, ready? Firm. And now, yep, yeah, two fingers. Oh, Claudia, what an amazing job. Now the shell there. Very important you work very, very clean, okay, when you work in, in the kitchen. Good job, Claudia. No shell. No shell! We'll put the sugar as well. Let's put the sugar in to make it really nice and sweet. When we have made the best cheesecake at home, is that ever, ever any leftover cheesecake? I don't know. Never. Who eats it always? Morgan? Mm. Eh? Yeah. And that's the corn flour? What does the corn flour do? Thickens it up. Thickens it up, very good. So the corn flour is gonna make the cheesecake to have a little bit of volume. You see, it's very little corn flour, only three tablespoons. But this is gonna make that cheesecake to be firm and beautiful. And at this stage, pretty much, I think we're ready. What is the last thing we need to put on? A pinch of salt. Why we use a pinch of salt? To balance the flavor. Oh! I'm out of here. Claudia, this is your cooking segment now. You hear that? Pinch of salt. That was a pinch or a punch? Oh. So what we're going to do now, line the cake. How are we going to line the cake? Put it here. And we get a really nice look. Show everyone. So we got the paper here. The tin is ready. What do we do with this business? Okay, this is the moment of the truth. Get the spatula, Gloria, and scrape all the bits from the side. Okay, we're gonna take this one we off. We need to take it off. Yeah, do this. It's gonna go in the sink, in the sink, yep, Opa. Okay, we scrape all the bits from the sides, and now, can I do this? I think I'll do the pouring. You hold it, oh, you do it. But do it really hard for the camera, so it really good, and everybody watching us at home, Loves it. Ready? Look at this. Whoa! All the way in. Doesn't matter if it's got a few little bits of cheese. That's clumpy. Because that's gonna melt through in the baking process. We're gonna give it like four or five minutes. Because it's a lot of little bubbles of air, okay? Can you hold? hold it, yeah, hold it. And all the bubbles of air, they need to go away. So sometimes we can give it a good shake. You're gonna grab it from each side and give it a good just grab it from each side of that. Here, like this. And do like click, click. Ready? What do we do now? Put it in the oven, no? So what are we gonna do? We're gonna put it in the oven 55 minutes. Okay. Oh, Claudia, together. Good job. 50 minutes later, the cake is ready. Okay, so the cake, we allow it to cool down slightly in the oven. So when it was ready, 
is really nice and puff, and it has something amazing. As it cools down, don't like, say like, ah, I didn't cook it properly. It's okay, it's gonna sink a little bit, and it's gonna look, you wanna do it? It's obviously cooled down already, okay? Claudia, good job. I wanna take it out of the base. It's all about the base. Oops, oops, oops. Take that one off. And, you ready? Ready for this? Oh, Gloria, you put the paper down, you show. We always eat all these bits from the paper, isn't it? Wow. That looks pretty good, eh? This cheesecake is best eaten room temperature. Ooh. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, egg whites and egg yolks. And it's, you know, you never want to do like one slice bigger than another. You know, there'll be a lot of arguments at home. Okay. So now this is the moment of the truth. If it's good or if it's amazing. This is always good. Okay, how about this? Ladies first. Pretty good, eh? Mm -hmm. How will you describe this cake? Cheesy. Cheesy? Sweet? So if you want more delicious recipes like this, all you need to do, go to australianeggs.org.au Slash. Meal to remember.